It's existing in our same space. It's just that it's in a different uh, realm because of the uh, nature of the frequency. It's something that we cannot see or feel or touch except on occasions when uh, our frequencies and the frequencies of the spirit realm come uh, into somehow uh, uh, um, cooperation. And at that time we may have visions, uh, we may uh, they have contact with that spiritual realm and then it's gone again we can't see it we can't see the angels that are running amongst us here we can't see the uh, the power the influence the energy that is uh, here with us but uh, if we make it to the next realm when we leave this physical realm we'll be in that spirit realm and uh, then we'll we'll just have to take it from there and nobody knows what is beyond that we don't know what the next realm is. We don't know where it goes from there. We only know that there are higher realms, higher, higher and higher. Uh, and by higher, we don't mean high above the earth. What we mean is uh, in a different uh, realm, a different frequency, a higher frequency, something that cannot be seen or ascertained in the, in the lower frequencies. And therefore, uh, it's just uh, these realms are still in this same space. They're in this same, right where we are. They're existing. Uh, you know, maybe ten, maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand, maybe a million. We don't know. It's all eternity. It's all power. It's all the source. Praise be unto God Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us strive to be one with the source. The source is the force, and the force is the source. Hallelujah. Praise be unto Yahweh Yesu, Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, creator of us, creator of light. It's all energy and this energy um, is, uh, is always present. What seems solid to us is really empty. An atom is almost all empty space and all things that are made up of uh, atoms there's more empty space in a, in a solid piece of uh, steel. Uh, there's, more, there's so much empty space and we just can't perceive it. We think it's solid because of the frequency slope. The, the frequency is a lower uh, frequency and therefore uh, appears to be solid, but in reality uh, there's nothing solid about it. If we could raise our, uh, I mean if we could uh, get the frequency of the metal and our frequency uh, all vibrating in the higher uh, realm, we could pass right through the metal. Just like Yesu walked through walls and he was able to slow his frequency and he could walk on water. And he was able to uh, change frequencies, and he was able to make loaves of bread and fishes. To, with uh, a few little baskets, he was able to feed thousands of people. And he was able to heal the sick by touching them, and sometimes even by speaking a word, and sometimes just with a thought. And he was able to raise people from the dead. And he was able even to raise himself from the dead. He was able to give up his own life and take it back again. Uh, the master, the great master of, um, of positive thinking, the great master of, uh, of manifestation, the greatest manifestation of all. He manifests God to us. Hallelujah. There he was. Uh, he came in the form of man, but he was the uh, manifestation. He was the image of, of, of the Godhead bodily, according to the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. 
the image of the Godhead bodily, God manifest in flesh, the, the, the fullness of God, just as God is in all of us, he's not manifest completely in us. He is in us, but there is a veil, and that veil is what brings about our ignorance and causes us to not be able to know all the spiritual things and uh, causes us not to be able to connect perfectly in the spirit with God. God is in us, God is us. We are one, but uh, we still have our individuality and it comes through the veil of uh, ignorance. If we could completely raise the veil, then God would manifest perfectly in us just as he was perfectly manifest in Jesu Christ. Hallelujah. Let us strive to raise the veil. Let us strive to go beyond the veil. Let us strive to live in the Spirit, and let us strive to be one. Praise be unto Yahweh Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory unto God. Praise be unto Yahweh Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory unto God. This has been a kind of a light-hearted approach to a very serious subject. Uh, think about what you have heard. You are now living in the time of the end, spoken of by Daniel the prophet. When he said, knowledge will be multiplied, you have a whole world of knowledge right at your fingertips. Research, but be wise, be cautious. You are eating of the tree of good and evil knowledge. Pray that you might discern the truth. Be not deceived, my friends. I leave you now, but I'll speak to you again. If we could completely raise the veil, then God would manifest perfectly in us, just as he was perfectly manifest in Jesu Christ.